We had all slept that night at Rex's flat. Thank you. In the morning, the display was impressive. He summoned a man from Trumpers to shave us while his valet collected our clothes from Marchmain House. Rex joined us after breakfast. Good morning, gentlemen. I trust you're feeling a little better. This is Mr. Selwyn, who will be representing you. Lord Sebastian Flight. How do you do? What? Mr. Charles Ryder. How do you do? How do you do? Lord Mulcaster. How do you do? Yep. Please sit down, Selwyn. Thank you. Sebastian's in a jam. He's liable for anything up to six months' imprisonment for being drunk in charge of a car. Now, oh, unfortunately, he'll come up before Grig. He takes a grim view of cases of this sort. Now, all that will happen this morning is that we shall ask to have Sebastian's case held over for a week to prepare his defense. But you two will plead guilty, say you're sorry, and pay a five bob fine. I'll see what can be done about squaring things with the evening papers. Though the star could be difficult. Now, this is important. Remember to keep out all mention of the old hundredth. Now, luckily, the tarts were sober, so they've not been charged, but they've taken their names. Now, if we try and break down the police evidence, they'll be called and used as witnesses. We must avoid that at all costs, right, Mulcaster? Hmm. Good. We have to swallow the police story whole and appeal to the magistrate's better nature not to wreck a young man's career for the sake of a single boyish indiscretion. It'll work out all right. And we shall need a don to give evidence of good character. Julia tells me you have a tame one called Sam Grass. He'll do. Meanwhile, your story is simply that you came up from Oxford for a perfectly respectable dance, were not used to wine, had too much, and then lost the way driving home. Well, let's take care of this, and then we'll see about fixing things with your authorities up in Oxford.